Welcome. I'm trying to make myself comfortable. This is Hongan Crest from uh, La Bellies Voodoo Temple. Today I'm going to talk about um, choosing the spiritual path. I'm going to talk about, I'm going to bring in perspective Haitian Voodoo. But I'm going to try to focus outside the frame um, one religious perspective and also talk from different uh, spiritual or religious paths, cultures and views. And I'm also going to talk about an important subject that I think is important which is uh, initiating uh, into uh, a path, a spiritual path. So first let me briefly go into history of Haitian Voodoo. I'm going to start it like that. Uh, I'm not going to go in depth uh, because that's not what the video is about. But uh, I'll try to make a short summon. Haitian Voodoo was basically created in IT in the 18th century by African slaves. And it was ruled by the um, French Empire the belief system for Haitian Voodoo, because that's where we're heading, was mainly formed by by uh, these slaves of, of uh, different African tribes, mainly from West. Uh, the Fons, the the uh, Nagos, the Ibos, the Ewes, the Dahomeans, the um, the the um, the Congos, to, to name a few. And also, uh, it was strongly influenced by the uh, natives, the indigenous people of Haiti, the Taino Indians, as well as elements from, from uh, the Roman Catholics and other European spiritual uh, systems and uh, mysteries. If you want to go more into that, the history or uh, voodoo as a spiritual system, Haitian voodoo. You can easily do a search on Google and find tons of information. I also want to make it clear that I'm not talking because people get confused. I'm not talking about African voodoo here. I'm not talking about voodoo. I'm not talking about uh, you know V O O D O O you know, voodoo. Uh, I'm not talking about voodoo. You know, I'm, I'm talking about Haitian sy system, Haitian, Haitian voodoo. It had its influence by African religions, but it created its own doctrines and principles along the way. Uh, so they're not one and the same. Mind you, each tribe, when they came to Haiti as slaves, they had their own language uh, and their own system, their own spiritual system. They couldn't understand each other, but they, uh, you know, by sign, sign language and simple, they could uh, communicate like that. And they also uh, found a great uh, commonty when it came to spirituality. So they, there was a red thread right there, the drumming, the beats, you know, um, it resonated. The calls, even if it were different names and aspects, it's still, you know, they could, uh, they could, uh, they could resonate. So um, eventually, they tied it together. And they created a new system, a new language, it was created by the mixture of African and French called Creole, and uh, you know, they they created a unique and elaborate spiritual system, Asian Blue with its own doctrines, its own protocols, uh, which we in Voodoo refer to as uh, regular mind. It's important to also understand that uh, based on the system that you follow, which is different from culture to culture, from tribe to tribe, from religion to religion. But no, and this is where people get confused. Even if it is uh, even though every spiritual system is different 
in essence, it still leads to the same source. We still have the same God, the same Creator, the same Most High, and the same spirits. With different names, different practices, different colors, different symbols. Still the same. So this is where people get a little bit confused. I understand that. These systems and these patterns have evolved through um, generations and generations. I can move this chair a little bit. And this is also the reason why you have to choose your path wisely. I'm not in any way implying uh, that you shouldn't explore, that you shouldn't question, that you shouldn't, um, you know, do your research, that you shouldn't travel, that you shouldn't explore. Do that by all means. You know, I, in, on contrary, I, I, that's what you need to do. That's exactly what you need to do before you choose a path. And make sure you feel it in your heart, in your blood, in your skin, you know, in your bones, in your soul. Make sure you feel it. And to initiate it is not a game. So uh, also when it comes to, to uh, initiation, it's not to be taken lightly. It's something that you have to... Because somebody posts something on the internet that sounds very sound and smart and intelligent, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you know the person. Everybody can, you know, uh, everybody can read books, everybody can, what I mean to say is that everybody can collaborate something and make it seem attractive but it doesn't mean that it's genuine it can be it can look beautiful you know you can look beautiful you can look attractive you sound like the person is a, a guru the most highest they can look they can smile but on the other hand you don't know what's going on so should at least spend a couple of years communicating with the person you choose to initiate with before you do it. That's what I did. Another thing is to go from path to path. I don't see the point. Really. Of course, everybody has their choice. To me, it's like a map. You know, to choose a spiritual system is like a map. And you look at a map and you are given the keys to be able to uh, resonate and understand where to go and how to respond to it. You know, it's his own unique map and language. And, uh, you know, there's, of course, several ways to the invisible world, but, you know, imagine ten people telling you different ways to go at the same time. And you, you know, it's easy, e easy to get lost, it's easy to get confused, it's a headache, and it's a big responsibility, not, not at least just to follow one path. Uh, a lot of people do it for titles, for this and that, you know, they go into and they go into Orisha, Ifa, Uhudu, and they have all these elaborate titles and it sounds, it looks, it looks like they're, you know, they're just collecting uh, certificates to prove themselves, but I mean, you don't have to prove yourself to nobody by yourself, that's what it is about. And the worst thing is that people you mix paths together because you think that you're smarter, <laughs> that you think that you know more. Uh, it crashes is different. Like I said, it's, it's you get confused. It's not something you, you do because it's, it's different resonance. It's 
still leads, said, like I said in the beginning, all ways of truth leads to the same source. But uh, you can't walk right and left at the same time. Maybe you can. Maybe you're able to split. I don't know. Maybe you have a superpower. Spirits, they, they communicate uh, accordingly to the pathway you open, the path that you choose. And this is something that has been created through generations and generations. It's something that, that has been, that the spirit acknowledged and resonates with it. They know that's how we communicate through our world by symbolic gestures. And we understand that when we do that, you know, this happens. When uh, we call this name and vibrate on this level, then we attract this certain spirit. We understand that you can't put fire in water, water on fire. It's something that is easy to create. Um, if you mix things together, you know, you will create, you will it will lead you to nothing. Lead you to nothing. Another thing that I wanted to talk about, like briefly before I end the video, is so I need to teachers and um, no, I think I mentioned to spend a little bit time, at least a few years, a couple of years, with the communication, active communication with the, the teacher, your teacher. A spiritual teacher before you make a choice and that's important too because uh, you know uh, back in the days and now it was a different mindset we read things in a different way now even if it's still the same you now we have all these new things popping up but but in basis it's all the same you know, uh, and what I'm talking about is, what I'm talking about is, um, before you knew, it was easier to know, it was easier to recognize where you stand, your level. It was easier to trust, to sense, to resonate, to feel, to see correspond now it's easier to get tricked to live in an illusion to believe in a lie I think that's the main difference so uh, you know I know there's a lot of people out there that will uh, if you believe it they will sell it to you if you have the money you pay money they will sell you the title but that's not what it is about not what it should be about. Okay, you believe it, so you this and that. But it's all, they will give you koyales, as we call it, santaria, I believe, the necklaces, or the ason and guru, the rattle, or you know different implements tell you this and that because you chose it that's how they view it I know a lot of people see it like that there's a lot of people that don't but it's easy to fall into the trap of those uh, that do because uh, it's it's, uh, it's not easy to find the truth when you are lost yourself so be truthful to self I'm gonna end this video because it's getting too long be truthful to yourself.
sense, feel, understand. It's what I always say. Look, hear, smell, taste, sense, understand. Blessings to you all on the path. Click like if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, next week I will try to, you know, I'll, I'll co accommodate between one and two weeks. I try to make a video every week. Um, so, you know, um, follow, follow me, follow me up and uh, share the video if you want to, uh, to spread the word. I appreciate uh, that and also I appreciate comments, you know, I love comments, I love uh, to hear your opinions, what you think, uh, not only what you think about my video, but what you think about the subject, what you think about, you know, tell me about you, tell me about your experiences, tell me about what's going on, with how you resonate. Blessings to all, i.e. boo-boo, and I'll see you next week.